Hello, story time friends. I am Miss Michelle, and I'm so happy to be here. Let's continue our theme of Miss Michelle's favorites. That way, I get to share with you my most favorite books. And for today, our story is Superworm by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler, the authors of Room on a Broom, another one of my most favorites. We read it back in the fall. Superworm! Superworm is super long. Superworm is super strong. Watch him wiggle, see him squirm. Hip hip hooray for Superworm! <gasps> Help! Disaster! Baby Toad has hopped onto a major road. Someone help him quick! Oh no! Look! A Superworm lasso! The bees are feeling bored today. They need a nice new game to play. Cheer up, bees. No need to mope. It's Superworm, the skipping rope. Beetle's fallen in the well. Is she drowning? Who can tell? <gasps> Not to panic. All is fine. It's Superworm, the fishing line. Then toads and beetles, bees and bugs, brother snails and sister slugs, Uncle Earwig, Auntie Ant, clap and cheer and chant this chant. Superworm is super long, Superworm is super strong. Watch him wiggle, see him squirm. Hip hip hooray for Superworm! The chant is carried on the air to Wizard Lizard in his lair. He mutters in his servant's ear, Find that worm and bring him here. The servant crow is black and grim. Everyone is scared of him. They all let out a fearful shriek ah! to see their hero in his beak. The wizard waves his magic flower. Now, super worm, you're in my power. And you must tunnel, writhe, and coil to find me treasure in the soil. Superworm is very cross to have a lizard as his boss. But when he tries to slink away, the wizard's magic makes him stay. For days he tunnels, twists, and winds. But all the treasure that he finds is two small buttons, half a cork, a toffee, and a plastic fork. The lizard flicks an angry tail. Have one last try, and if you fail to find that treasure down below, I'll feed you to my hungry crow. The crow is flapping through the night. Everyone looks up in fright. They see him perch upon an oak and listen to his dreadful croak. Superworm is good to eat. Superworm's a special treat. He'll be juicy, fat, and firm. Hip, hip, hooray for Superworm. <gasps> Action quickly at the double. Superworm's in frightful trouble. We must help him if we can. We must hatch a cunning plan. The garden creatures leave their home, carrying a honeycomb. They jump and fly and crawl and creep and find the lizard fast asleep. They chew the petals off his flower to rob him of his magic power. The caterpillars fetch some leaves while busily the spider weaves. The web is strong. The web is tough. The web is plenty big enough. The wizard wakes. This isn't funny. I'm wrapped in leaves and stuck with honey. Then up the bees and beetles fly and lift the web into the sky. This is the place and bam, crash, thump. The wizard's in the rubbish dump. And now from somewhere underground, there comes a distant rumbling sound. The earth begins to heave and then whoosh. Superworm is back again. Superworm the swing, the slide, the hula hoop, the fairground ride. Superworm the belt, the hat, the crane, the train, the acrobat. Then toads and beetles, bees and bugs, brother snails and sister slugs, 
Uncle Earwig, Auntie Ant, clap and cheer and chant this chant. Super worm and super slong, super worm and super strong. Watch him wiggle, see him squirm. Hip hip hooray for super worm. The end. See you next time, story time friends.